Do you guys want to make a lot of money and level up fast without using a lot of your time? Well, if that's the case, then this video is for you. Jackknife Finnegan coming at you once again with another GTA 5 online video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. If you guys did not get a notification for this, check out my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, all at Jackknife Finnegan. It would be much appreciated. Also, there will be a comment below with all my socials linked. You can go check out there as well. But anyway, guys, what I am talking about is the uncon un conventional way of grinding now unconventional means not popular um something that might you know be frowned upon in the grinding community whatever but this video is for somebody let's say you work all day you get home and you just want to do a quick grind and you want to make a lot of money and possibly level up but you do not have the time to sit and you know do the normal grind like run cargo right now cargo crates is double money probably one of the best grinding methods in the game right now if you want me to make a video showing you guys how to properly do crates and how to make a lot of money on crates for this week i could definitely do that for you just put down in the comments you want me to make a video on cargo also guys in this video make sure you look above your head or not above your head but above my head and you're going to see that I linked a video in here about your crates warehouses, a special hack to help you deliver faster and get the job done quicker on that as well. But anyway, guys, let's get to the nitty gritty. So the unconventional uh, way of grinding is by spinning this wheel every day. Not only do you guys go here and spin the wheel to get that extra vehicle. Well, this week it is the Penumbra FF right over there. But in case you want to know... If you want to go here, spin this every day, and you guys know how to get the car. You guys know how to get the car. If you spin it, you don't get the car, you dashboard out, you quit, and then you reload the application, and you spin again. Well, look on this wheel, you guys. Look at this. You can make $50,000. You can get $20,000. You can get 5,000 RP. You can get 10,000 RP. You can get $40,000. You can get $25,000 $25, of chips, which you can convert into cash. So either way, on this wheel, you are winning. The only way you're not winning is if you get clothing. Unless that's your thing, that's up to you. But if I get clothing, I know I'm not winning. So that is the only prize on this wheel that does suck and the discount so guys why not use this as a way to grind to get your 15,000 uh, rp or get maybe your forty thousand dollars in cash so use this as a source to grind for rp and money once again an unconventional way of grinding also guys make sure you come here every single day and get your thousand in chips get your thousand right here your visitor bonus thousand in chips that could be converted into money as well that happens every day you can go there and get a free thousand dollars now there's another way of doing unconventional grinding and we are going to discuss that as well so what you're going to want to do is go to arena war so when you so once you get enough money you want to have a little bit of money you don't want to have you don't need a lot of money but you're going to want a little bit of money and what i mean by that is you're going to want a little bit of money to go into arena war and do these missions right here. So go to Arena War. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Go to Play Job, Rockstar Created. Go to Arena War. And you're going to want to go to jobs like Here Come the Monsters. Like Here Come the Monsters. Or you're going to want to go down to Wreck It. Now what you're going to want to do is when you get into these game modes, you're going to want to die right away. And once you die right away, you go into a lobby um, where there's a big giant wheel that you can spin. The only problem with that is the wheel costs $5,000 to spin it. But the good news about that is when you spin it, you can make extra amount of, you can make a lot of money on that. You can make a lot of uh, AP, which could give you secret vehicles in the game. You can also get a lot of RP from that. Another unconventional way of making RP or getting a lot of RP or a lot of money is by doing that as well. Once again, an unconventional way. Another unconventional way to make money in this game is just take a car off the street and sell it. Any car, find a car that you think is good, Run that son of a bitch to Los Santos, sell that bitch, and boom, another unconventional way to make money in this game. Now, like I said, these are, you know, these are grinds by themselves, but if you already have a grinding method, if you're grinding right now, why not incorporate this grinding to your method you already got 
to add double effect. Or let's say you don't have time. You don't have time to grind crates for you know four or five hours to get your warehouse stacked in order to sell it. And you just want to get on for like five minutes. Well, here you go. This is your five minute grind right here. Go to this wheel, grind it out, or go into Arena War, die a couple times, spend 5,000, spin that wheel, and boom, there you go. Them are unconventional ways of grinding. Or take a car and just sell it off the street. And boom, you're, you'll be grinding money. And don't spend the money right away. Just build it up to a decent equity to buy a business so then you have constant money flow coming in. Like I said, guys, I can do a crate video for you guys. I could do that. I just know there's a lot of crate videos out there. And, uh, you know, I mean, I could put my spin on it. Uh, absolutely. But I know there's a lot of crate videos out there. People are going to tell you about the crates and this and that. And I get it. It is a great grind. The, cr the crates are a great grind. They are something that you guys should all know about. Absolutely. But uh, I just wanted to do a different take on it for, you know, somebody that's a different player or, you know, someone that hasn't really, you know, thought about how to using these mechanisms to your advantage, like the wheel, the lucky wheel, or the $1,000 cash visitor bonus, or arena war wheel, which could be huge as well. Or just selling random cars off the street. Also, another good grind this week, you guys. Another good grind if you have a couple buddies. Um, or, you know, if you just want to hang out and just get good at running gun and just practice your running gun and you're killing another good job that you're not want, you're not going to want to miss. They just added these with the update and they're actually not that bad. I played the whole playlist of these, but they're not that bad. It is the diamond adversary mode. Uh, another good grind that a lot of people are overlooking because they're kind of fun. They're not bad. And like I said, they practice your running gun, get you better at doing that. But right here, guys, like these ones, all the diamond ones are double RP, double money, and they go fast. They go fast, so your money is stacking up fast, your RP is stacking up fast. You're not really paying attention because you're just going around running around and killing people. So there you go. This, this is for, like, the tryhards or the people that just want to run around and kill people all day. Boom, right here, die hard, or die hard, diamond, <laughs> die hard, diamond adversary mode is your avenue to go. If you want to just run and gun and just have a good time, that is it right there. Your stuff stacks up very fast and very awesome because it's easy to do. It's fun. And who doesn't want to run around a casino and just start blasting? You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe you don't want to do that. That would be a bad thing. But what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, that's what you're going to want to do for that grind as well. We have a couple missions that are double RP, double XP. Bunch of adversary modes that are double money, um, RP, XP. All you got to do is run through the list, and you'll see that we have a whole bunch of them. We got Missile Base in here. We got um, Diamond Adversary. We got, I'm trying to remember what the other one is. See, you got Missile Base right here. You also got the Bunker Series and Gerald Missions are all double money, double RP as well. So make sure you guys cash in on these missions and do that as well because it's double money, double RP, and they go fast, and they're pretty easy to do. Well, again, like I said, the grind of the week is crates. Obviously, you do not want to miss crates. If you do not have enough money to go and buy a crate business, use the lucky wheel to your advantage or use the $1,000 that you get from the casino and gamble it. Try your luck and see if you can get a business that way. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. You know, is this video, does this video help you guys out? You know, does this put a spin on something that you didn't really think about now? You know, you're like, oh my God, that's a genius idea. Let me know what you guys think. I just want to know what you guys think in the comments or what are, you know, or do you want me to make a crate video? What do you guys want me to do? And I got your back because you know me, I support my community. If you guys want a video on something, I pop a video out and there you go. But anyway, guys, let me know if you like this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on the live stream. Peace!